Hello everybody, I'm Kale. And I'm Marin. We live full time in this bad boy. Our truck camper, Phil. Quick shout out. Thank you so much, Steve from Intermountain for giving us our first piece of fan mail. Thanks for the Christmas card. You are awesome. <laughs> we hope you guys all had an awesome Christmas break. We're stoked to be back and in our final semester of school, super close to graduation. Today we'd like to chat with you about solar energy and how we live completely off grid in our tiny mobile house. We'll specifically talk about the Renogy solar panel system that we have and give you a quick review on what we think of it. There's nothing like skiing right to your house. After buying our camper, we decided that we wanted to install our solar panel system on our own. For an RV camper dealership to do an install of just one solar panel, it would cost over $1,200. So for us to do the install ourselves, we just needed to get a hold of some solar panels. We discovered a really affordable brand, Renogy. So for around $500, we ordered the monocrystalline 200 watt, 12 volt premium kit found on Renogy.com. This kit comes with a 20 amp MPPT charge controller. We actually upgraded to a 30 amp in order to house more solar panels in case we wanted to add in the future. The panels arrived in just three days and Renogy's installation instructions were fairly simple to follow. Overall, installing the panels took us about three hours and saved us over $750. I'd say that is worth it. Definitely worth it. We did what most RV and camper people do and ran the solar panel cables down through the fridge vent and into the camper. The cables run behind the fridge, through the cabinets, down to the battery box at the bottom of the camper. Luckily the cables were barely long enough, so make sure to check the length of the route you'll be running before you order, just in case. We mounted our charge controller right inside the front door of our camper, a little bit out of the way since it's such a large controller. Typically controllers are pretty small, but since we got the 30 amp MPPT version, it's quite large. We jones for the MPPT charge controller as it boasts better charging capabilities. We also jumped up to 30 amps in case we decided to add additional panels in the future. We would hate to try to add additional panels and not have a charge controller that would be able to handle that much power. In addition to the new solar panel system, we decided to upgrade our batteries as well. We bought two Duracell 6 volt golf cart batteries from our local Sam's Club. They cost about 90 bucks a piece, but golf cart batteries are designed with the capability to deep cycle more often, meaning we can be way harder on these batteries than we can on traditional RV marine batteries. This is good for us, as we rarely plug in our camper to shore power. Our goal is to run 100% of the time on our own batteries, so upgrading to these better batteries seemed like a must for us. So here we are having lived four months full time in our truck bed camper and having learned quite a bit about solar panels, charging our batteries, and what it takes to keep everything running in tip top shape all the time. Our charge controller keeps the proper amount of energy circulating to our batteries each day and having two solar panels seems to be just right. When we first ordered the system and installed it in the early fall, we thought having two panels may have been overkill as everything was charging up in just a few hours. Now, with these shorter and colder winter days, we're, we feel pretty lucky having the additional solar panel, making sure we get everything charged up each day. We're stoked about our Renogy setup, so here's a shout out to them for making an awesome, affordable product. A link to our setup is found in the description below. Also, if you have questions about our setup, please don't hesitate to comment. We'll see if we can get you an answer. In the meantime, check out our part two video explaining how solar energy works, what we do to keep our batteries 100% charged, and what it's like living full time in a camper during the winter, and what a hassle it sometimes can be keeping our <laughs> batteries fully charged. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kale. And I'm Marin. We are the Smiths. And until next time, we'll be smithing it.